Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to set up the 4x2 HDMI matrix and in this particular demonstration we have two output televisions and we're going to demonstrate it simply with two HD inputs here um, which we, you can see just in front of us here we have a combo and it's just purely a, a high definition satellite receiver so what I'm going to do first of all here is I'm simply going to pick up the power unit that I have here that comes with the matrix I'm going to plug it in over here and it powers on and there's actually, I'll take my word for it, a little LED light that's on the plug actually powers on so next what we're going to do is I'm just going to get the power here I'm just going to push the power in here to the 5 volt input and now we have two HDMI leads coming from each of these TVs so I'm simply going to connect this here the HDMI input here A and I'll replicate it here on HDMI input B so we have the two outputs done now and now we'll connect the actual input devices here so we'll grab the first one here and I'm just going to feed it into HDMI input 1 and the next one, for a bit of variety in life, I'm going to put it into HDMI 3 so we have two input devices here, the pink leads and two output devices which are the black leads leading to the TVs ok, so we'll come along, we'll look at the front of the box the first thing we'll see is with no power, no lights and now what we'll do is we'll see, turn it on here and by default we can see it's defaulted on a1 and B1. So we have our first device over here and it's feeding to these two televisions here. So if we came along here and we made the decision that actually on um, television B what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the output from this box. But what we can do here is we can come along and I'm going to go and do it manually first and I'll do it with remote control at a later point out. Just push this back slightly here. So what we'll do here is we come along and select your switch. Now, because this is a clever device, instead of clicking the B2 input where there is no input because we only have two devices rather than four we can connect, it'll actually flick past this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press it here and it clicks immediately to B3. So we have clicked this here, you can see it just goes blank for a second, and now you can see two screens have a different output here. Okay? If I wanted to come, let's we'll say and go back to the original uh, B1 here, so on this television here. I just hit it again and manually I can do it this way and it'll flick straight back to B1 here. So we just get picture drop out for a matter of seconds here and what will happen here is it'll just pop back up in a moment. So we can see here that um, we have two pictures back and one thing I'm going to save on both screens. Now if I want to come and do this manually here, I can just pick up the remote control here and I can just press A3. And see here again, we'll click the drop out for a moment. But obviously, you won't be switching in between devices that often. It's not like you're flicking channels or something like that. It's just moving from one device to the other, and it's pretty And now we can see we have a different uh, picture output. So you can see here what the setup and the actual operation of this um, 4x2 HDMI matrix is extremely simple and it's easy to install.